Today we're going to be doing our last Halloween animation in Procreate Dreams of the Year. Okay guys, here we are. We're going to go into Procreate right now and I'm going to show you all the assets that I made for this animation. So... This is it right here is what I've came up with and made this a little bit bigger so you guys can see. So I've got, it's not too many layers actually. So I've got the moon on one layer. I've got this bat right here, uh, the big giant bat. Uh, we've got one wing on one layer, another wing on another layer, and then his body's on the third layer. And we've got those grouped together into one group as a bat. Um, the moon, I said, also was on a layer, and then the only other thing that's on a layer of its own is the eye, the red eyes that you see all around these edges. Okay, so let me show you right now what I got. I've got the background, which is just the dark blue here. I've got the orange part in the middle that looks like the pumpkin, and you can see that the two bats here looks like the eyes of the pumpkin, and then the mouth, or the jack-o'-lantern. Shouldn't be calling it a pumpkin. Okay, the trees... In the foreground or in on their separate layer because I wanted to put the moon in back of the trees so it's coming in like that and that's basically all we've got um, the eyes are the ones that are the red parts all the way around including the spiders little cross mark on him right here and then the bat group right here and open that up we got a bat body a right wing and a left wing and that's it so not too much um, yeah, anyway, let's go ahead and bring all of this into Procreate Dreams. But before we do that, let's start our file. So I'm going to hop over to Procreate Dreams, which is right here. We're going to click on the plus in the top right corner there. We're going to make us a new file. You can scroll through all the sizes that you might want. But I'm going to stick with HD widescreen. Also, keep in mind that you can click on the red square right there and you can change the resolution to 2K, 4K, whatever that you want to do. But we're just going to stick with HD empty. So I'm going to click on that. And there's our file. Now we're going to click on the title, which is Dream 30 right here. And we're going to change our frames per second in the properties here. So we're going to change that to at 12 frames per second. And then duration, we're going to change to 10 seconds. And then that one minute right there, you're going to have to hit, click on that and hit backspace. It'll get rid of that. And there we go, 12 frames per second, 10 second duration, 1920 by 1080, and that is it. All right, so let's go back over to Procreate now, and we're going to take this file that I made, and we're going to hold down on that until we can wiggle it around. Don't pick up your finger. Go back over to Dreams, drop that right in just like that, and there we are. So now we need to resize this so it will fit, and I find this quite tricky. So if we try to fix it just perfectly, you can see it's really hard to get it. So what I'd like to do is just resize it just a bit. And that way we can fill it all in really well. All right, and that's about it. Now, this is a 10 second timeline here. You can see nine seconds and then the 10 seconds right there. So right now all we've got is a flat picture file. We need to change that. So how you do that, is you long press on your file here and then you click on convert layers to tracks so you can see that it's created a group and you click on the little arrow right there and it'll open it up and there is all of our layers that we had all right so we've got our bat group there we've got our eyes we've got the moon right there and then the tree layer all right so the first thing I think I'm gonna do is to animate that moon so we're going to click on the moon layer, which is this white one here. We're going to set a move and scale keyframe. And we're going to start him off. So you can see I've got that covered up a bit. So I don't want to go above that. You don't want to see the moon. So I'm going to start about right there. All right. And then we're going to leave it in that possession position for just a second. Maybe right there. And then from there, 
maybe we'll bring it out. I'm going to move that over a little bit. Maybe bring that out to about right there. And then we're going to have that thing come down to about right there. All right, and that's it. So, boom, that's what we wanted. Okay, the next thing what I want to do is I want to kind of start everything off dark. And then when the moon comes out, it's going to brighten up. So we're going to go to this pumpkin layer here, or the orange layer. And we're going to set a filter keyframe and HSB. All right, and now we can set that brightness to darker. Just like that. So it's going to start off dark. And then we can bring that over. And as the moon comes out to about right there is where it stops. We'll click on it again. And then we'll set that brightness to go up some. All right, so then when that moon comes out, it's going to brighten up. All right, that's exactly what we wanted. Just like that. Okay, let's do the eye layer now. So I wanted to start the same thing with the eyes. I wanted to start them out like where we can't see them really. So we're going to, again, do a filter and an HSB. And we're going to set that brightness to really, really low where we really can't see it. And then as that moon comes out, we're going to pick that brightness back up to where the eyes will show. Okay, and that's about it. Let's see. Nope, I didn't do that right. You get a better look at it. I don't know if it worked. No, I don't think it worked. What happened? Well, it, it, didn't, it didn't take. That second one didn't take. There it goes. Now you can see the eyes come out. There you go. Okay, that's what we wanted. I don't know why it didn't work the first time. But anyway, we fixed it. All right, and then we need to do the bat. The bat's going to take a while because of those wings. So I'm probably not going to show everything. I'm going to show you uh, how I do one, and then you can, guys can just do it yourself because it's basically the same thing. So let's start off with the right wing. And we're not going to have that bat move at first, all right, because we want him to kind of sit there for a minute once that moon comes out. And then about right here, we're going to hit a move and a move in scale. The first thing we need to do is click on the three little dots right here, and we need to edit our anchor point. We want to put that anchor point over here on the body, so that's where when we rotate the wing, it's going to pivot from there. Okay, and then the next thing we need to do is we need to click. Actually, we need to hit done first. Okay, so from here, we're going to come out just a little bit. So maybe there. Click on it again, and then we're going to rotate them up. And then the same thing. Click. Rot Oops. We See, that's what you want to do. See, two finger and reset that and then we can do it all right we'll move it over again click on it move it up and we're just going to keep doing this oops you need to have your finger in the exact position it wants you in before it'll work correctly we're just going to keep doing this back and forth and this is what i meant by i'm not going to show everything because we're just going to do this over and over for 10 seconds so if you're enjoying the content, I have a small favor to ask that makes a huge difference. Subscribing to my channel is like giving a virtual high five and it means the world to me. When you hit that subscribe button, you're not just supporting the channel, you're joining an incredible community of awesome people who love art just as much as you do. Imagine being part of something bigger where every view, like, and comment helps us grow and reach more awesome folks just like you. Plus, subscribing is super easy. It's just one click, but that one click has a ripple effect, helping me create more content, bringing new ideas to life, and spreading positivity all around. And hey, in the spirit of kindness, how about this? Subscribe and then go out and do something nice for someone today. Hold the door open for a stranger, leave a kind note for a coworker, or simply smile at someone who looks like they need it. Let's make the world a bit brighter together. So what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and let's make amazing things happen. Thank you for your support. You're the reason this channel exists. No.
and you can see what that's doing. It's making the bat flap his wings. All right, so again, I'm not going to show this. Just keep doing this over and over until you get to the end of the uh, animation. Okay, guys, we're back, and just want to show you what we got so far. We got the moon coming out, and then the bat starts flapping his wings. All right. I got kind of lazy on them, so some of them might be a little bit wider than they should be. But anyway, that's fine. I think he's probably going to be off the screen by the time we see all of those anyway. Okay, now we need to do the same thing for the left wing. So I'm going to hit move and scale and set an initial keyframe right there where it's not going to move at all. And then we're going to just kind of copy these keyframes here. All right, this one's going to be the base also. And then it's going to go up. So we're going to come over a little bit. And then we're going to kind of match the position. Oops, I forgot to set the um, anchor point. So three little dots. Edit your anchor point. Move him over to the body here. And hit done. All right, now I can put him up. I'm just kind of matching that other wing where it's at. And then, oops. Again, you got to have your finger in the right position or dreams doesn't like it. Okay, and this, again, we're going to do the same exact thing. So again, I'm not going to show you this whole thing because you already guys, you guys already know how to do it. Okay, guys, I'm back. That took a long time. So here we got. I tried to match both of them as much as possible, but I, I didn't get some of them perfect, but that's fine. All right, so the last thing we're going to do, we're going to close our bat group now. So that is him right here. And now we're going to animate this whole group together. So we're going to set an initial move and move and scale. We're going to leave him right there. And then as soon as he starts flapping his wings, we're going to set another one. And then we're going to go to the very end here. Maybe not to the very end, maybe a second and a half before. And we're going to set another move and move and scale. And then we're going to scale him really far. And just kind of move him back into position where you want him at. So it's going to look like he's flying towards us. We're going to have to make this even smaller. even smaller and then we're gonna have it go off the screen so about like that all right and I think that is gonna do it so I will leave the final animation at the end of this video I want to thank everybody for joining me on this final Halloween animation of the year we'll get into something new next week but again thank you so much for joining me if you want to get these assets they're over on my patreon you can join up with patreon and you'll get the assets from two youtube channels uh, for the price of one so it's a pretty good deal i hope you all will enjoy that and thank you so much for joining me hit that subscribe button share it with your friends thumbs up all that good stuff and i will see you guys next week for another procreate or procreate dreams tutorial take care and see you again uh -huh.